Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and I'm headed in to Walmart. So I'm inviting you to come along with me. Let's go shopping. Today we're gonna take a look at a few kitchen items and lots of Pioneer Woman, including these new little jam jars and their labels. She put out a new creamer and sugar. Now I've seen these in clear, but not in the cobalt blue before. And this little honey jar is definitely new for $7.86. She also did a butter dish in the cobalt and clear for $9.62, a pepper grinder for $14.88, and this set of coasters that are ceramic in a wood base for just under $12. She did a large glass canister. I didn't see that one in cobalt for $18.83. And this, which looks like a cookie jar almost to me, looks like it may have been returned. It does have a little embossing there on the side. I'm not sure if that one was $14.93 or not. There's also a new napkin holder. Lots of red and blue this time around, including these canisters that range from just under $9 to $11 and $13 for the large that has the teal lid. She also has a bright blue ceramic egg holder. This one is probably perfect timing for Easter. It's $11.73 and that's the same color blue as the spoon rest for $7.98. She also has this set of, I think they're calling them flea market drawers. I don't think that one belongs there because they do have them down here for $25.83. And for $35.88, she has a little Keurig stand with a pull-out drawer for K-cups, I believe. Just below that, a two-tiered tray, $32.72 for that one. And it turns out those little jars are actually spice jars. And there's a little shelf to go with them. There's this little cookbook stand. It does have a kickstand. It's currently tied up with the other one for $39.73. She's got a new design on her paper towel holder and a storage rack that comes with four glass jars. Looks like she's adding some red to her kitchen utensils and a new design on her little measuring spoons. You guys will have to tell me, do you collect the Pioneer Woman? To me, it's just a little pricey. I can't bring myself to pay $6 per utensil. Looks like she's brought back the little strainers. I do think these are adorable. I think the teal one may be a different print from last year. And this is definitely new. Really cute measuring pitcher for $8.44. Some new measuring cups and some bright colors and some old faithfuls. These came out last year, the little dipping bowls, but they've been sold out at my store. Looks like there are some new ramekins in a few different prints for $1.92. These are quite a bit bigger than the dipping bowls. And for $12.72, she has some really pretty ceramic pie dishes. A 
lots of red and bright blue and a little bit of teal. I love the edges on these. Right next to that for $18.72, I found some bakeware. These two were actually stuck together. And a 9 by 13 casserole dish in the metal stand. This one has the nice handles on the side. Really pretty pattern around the edge in blue and red. And all kinds of thermal cups and tumblers. These with the handles for $12.84 in the cranberry red and the dark cobalt blue. These are definitely the largest and they come with a straw in blue and red. Now I don't know if they are double wall or just insulated, being that they are metal. We have some water bottles, same price on those, as well as these tumblers. Now staying in the kitchen department, but moving on to a few things not Pioneer Woman related, I found some beautiful new things. This little butter dish for $6.73. They have the little spoon rest. All this stuff is sort of a white ceramic hobnail. They are putting out a few complimentary things with a lot of blue for the blue lovers out there. These canisters have wooden lids from $7.88 to $11.88. Down here, they have an oil and vinegar dispenser. These come in a wooden base for $12.56. And they have a really good size utensil urn for just under 10. And down here for $19.98 from Better Homes and Gardens, they have a little cookbook or tablet holder. It's got a little easel on the back. And they even have a two-tiered tray in metal. They're calling it a kitchen basket from Mainstays for $21.62. Here's a look at some of the really pretty new dishes from Better Homes and Gardens that I found. Now these have a very dark navy print on them. That's the salad plate. The bowls are just beautiful. They have the print on the inside and almost a chambray on the outside. They're selling them also in a 12 piece set for just under 50. And these are not by Pioneer Woman, but they definitely have the same look. These are actually by Mainstays and I found the measuring spoons as well as the mixing bowl set in very similar colors. The bowls are 20. And who knew that Walmart sold really cute scoops for just under $4. They also have this two level turntable or Lazy Susan by Better Homes and Gardens. This one is $11.74. And also by Better Homes and Gardens, this really good looking dish strainer for $21.98. Mine growing up, definitely was not this chic. They also have some wire baskets for storage for $6.46 and $10.44 in two different sizes. All this stuff is sort of a dark bronze with copper details. They even have a little gathering basket for $8.62. And it looks like Pioneer Woman put out an Instapot. Now, I don't personally own one, but I do have a crock pot and I love this one in the dark navy. I think that one is definitely new. I remember seeing the lighter ones last year, but the darker one definitely caught my eye. Looks like she's also putting out some fridge shelf liners in a couple different prints. She has the floral and then the blue. 
And this that I'm kicking myself for not picking up, it's the perfect little, I think, magnet for your dishwasher. New hand and lotion soap dispensers for your kitchen. And that's actually a three piece. The little dispensers come on a teal tray. They have a soap dish. Now this one is $4.46 and these are $8.83. I think they just put them on the shelf in the wrong order. Next up, hampers. This one for just under 15 in canvas and a wicker version for $35. Now it is pretty and has the fabric facing the correct direction so you can see it through the wicker, but it's pretty flimsy. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Walmart with me to look at some Pioneer Woman goodies as well as some kitchen items. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon.